What's up guys and welcome to the last episode of Platinum Grilling. I am your host, Chef Sean O'Neill, and like any great meal, we're finishing with dessert. I have a beautiful strawberry crisp and we're gonna serve it with some smoked ice cream. That's all coming up right now on Platinum Grilling. Okay guys, so I will be the first to admit that I am by no means a pastry chef. I have my staple desserts that I go with um, and that kind of is my wheelhouse. Uh, I leave the pastry to the professionals. I have a pastry chef who I bring in for big events. Um, but I do like making some sweets every once in a while. I love making sweets on the grill, but I keep it easy. Um, so today we're doing a strawberry crisp. The most exciting thing about this is definitely gonna be the smoked ice cream. Um, it is delicious, it is simple. I'm gonna show you a couple ways to do it. One, if you have an ice cream machine is the easiest way. Um, and two, if you don't have an ice cream machine, it takes a little bit more time and a little bit more attention, but you can still accomplish the same effect with the same creamy, smoky, delicious ice cream. So I've got the Pit Boss Platinum Series Lockhart available exclusively at Walmart. I've got that set to just the smoke level, um, the lowest setting. So we're gonna be smoking in the upper smoking cabinet here. Um, so we just want it on the smoke setting. We don't want to bring this, this milk and cream mixture to a simmer. We just want to get smoke on it. So let's go ahead and get this guy going. In here I have two cups of whole milk and two cups of heavy cream. And we're just gonna pour this into a little bit of a tray or pan. You could get one of those disposable pans that would work absolutely fine. The first time I tried to do this, uh, I smoked it for three hours. Because of the fat content in the milk and the cream, the smoke just attached, attached, attached to the cream. And it was a smoke bomb when I finished the ice cream. So we're only gonna smoke this for one hour today. That first attempt was a definite failure. Never be afraid of your failures. I failed the first time I made this ice cream. I smoked it for three hours, I learned. We're only gonna smoke it for one hour. So let's go ahead and get it on the Platinum Series Lockhart. So this cream has been on the smoker for one hour. And now we're gonna crank up our grill a little bit because we're gonna, we, we could take this inside and make our creme anglaise, but it's a beautiful day, so we might as well enjoy the outside. So we're gonna crank this up to 325. Let's see how warm that is. That's not too bad. It was pretty cool up here, so this shouldn't have gotten too hot. It should have just gotten that nice smoky flavor. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are going to now warm it up and bring it to that steam level. So we'll transfer this to uh, a pan that you're safe and comfortable with putting on to the grill. All right, so now that our cream is smoked, um, we're gonna put it on the grill. So we've got our grill set to 300 degrees. We've got the heat shield closed. Um, so we're gonna put it right in the middle here and basically turn this into our stovetop outside. Um, so we're gonna let this come to basically steam, uh, just a little bit of a simmer. Um, then we can go ahead and make our creme anglaise. So this should take five to 10 minutes to heat up. Um, we'll go ahead and, and get moving with the other components. So in the bowl, all I have is four egg yolks and then I have one cup of sugar. We're gonna season this with just a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt. I'm not gonna use the, um, the Pit Boss smoke infused honey salt. I'm gonna use that for the strawberry crisp later. Um, this we need really fine salt. So we're gonna use some regular salt here. Now we need to whisk this until all that sugar is combined with those egg yolks. So I know it looks like a daunting task, but I promise it, it won't take too long. All right, we'll go ahead and add our vanilla, and that's just gonna kinda help to smooth this out a little bit, make it a little bit easier to whisk. So start kinda gently. You don't wanna splash it around everywhere. All right, so this is gonna take about three or four minutes of whisking. You wanna whisk it until you don't feel any of the sugar granules in there. It should be completely absorbed by the egg yolks. Okay, so you wanna whisk the cream every couple minutes just to make sure the bottom of it doesn't scorch to the pan. Um, that can give a little bit of an off-putting flavor, almost a burnt flavor if it does happen. Okay, so our cream is just barely starting to bubble, so now it's time to temper the eggs. Um, and tempering eggs really just means to bring eggs to temperature. Um, so this is a careful process. You have to be pretty attentive to this. You don't want to let your eggs turn into scrambled eggs, right? So you need to keep whisking nonstop. So we're gonna add about a third of this. And we're gonna whisk, 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 make sure nothing's coming solid, make sure no scrambling of the eggs is happening. Whisk this really well. Okay, so 
you really need to be attentive from here on out. So we're gonna add everything back into our saucepan here. And we are gonna put this thing back on the grill. Now you really need to pay attention to it. What we're looking for is it to form a custard. So we're looking for that creme anglaise, that, that ice cream base. So we're looking for a little bit smoother than a pudding, um, but make sure you're keeping an eye on it. Constant whisking, not constant, but whisking fairly regularly. You don't want anything burning in the corners. You don't want anything burning on the edges. So you need to really stay by your grill for this process. Okay, so when you start seeing light ribbon, light trails in your creme anglaise, that means it's done. Um, this has thickened up really nicely and I think it's gotten even a little bit more of that smokiness. So we can see those light ribbons, right? So if we were making like a pudding, we would want thick ribbons. So we, we're looking for those light ribbons right there, just like that. And the ribbons mean the trail left behind in the whisk, right? If there was, if this was still too wet, you wouldn't see that trail, okay? So this is good. Um, so this is good. At this point, our creme anglaise, our ice cream base is done. So what you wanna do is transfer this to a cool bowl or a room temperature bowl. And you want to let this cool absolutely 100% completely. From that stage, if you've got an ice cream machine, just move on with the manufacturer's directions on how to make ice cream. If you don't, what you wanna do is get your flattest, shallowest pan uh, baking dish, like a brownie pan or something like that. Pour the creme anglaise in there, put it in the freezer, and stir it about every 15 minutes. So this, this process takes a little bit longer, but what you're doing is you're stopping the large ice crystals from forming, right? So you're getting that smooth texture that we love in ice cream. So shallow pan, stir every 15 minutes, and you will have the pretty much, give or take a little bit of creaminess. <laughs> you will have pretty much the same quality of ice cream that you would get from an ice cream machine. So we're gonna let this cool down completely before we put it in the fridge. Um, we're gonna wrap it. Um, and what we want to do is we want that plastic wrap. We're going to wrap it in plastic wrap and we want that plastic wrap to actually touch the surface of the creme anglaise. And that helps us uh, stop developing a skin, right? Um, you could scrape it off if you really wanted to, if you don't want to touch the surface, plastic wrap to the surface. But we're going to press it down so it touches the whole surface into every little nook and cranny. Um, then we're going to put it in the fridge, let it come to complete coolness, complete fridge temperature, if you will, and then we can make our ice cream. Okay, so time to get started on our strawberry crisp, like I said, and this is about as easy as it gets. So we've got two pounds of strawberries, just chopped in half, top removed. Um, we've got two tablespoons of orange juice, just pulp-free, store-bought, regular orange juice. <clears throat> and then we've got fourth a cup of flour, just regular all-purpose flour. So we'll get that in there. We'll get this mixed around. Make sure everything is fully incorporated. And then we're also going to use the um, Pit Boss Smoke Infused Seasoning here. We're going to use the uh, Honey Sea Salt. This stuff is great for sweets. That honey really brings in that additional sweetness that, um, that you, you really want in a dessert, obviously, right? So a little bit of this Honey Sea Salt. Again, make sure everything is fully incorporated. If you get any flour sticking to the bottom, get in there and scrape that away. That's what is really going to melt down and create your binder. Um, one thing when I use strawberries in desserts, and I know this may sound weird, but it's the same concept as with banana bread. Um, I let the strawberries age in my refrigerator for a little while. So I wait until they're starting to get soft where you would kind of normally throw them away. That's where I use my strawberries um, when I'm baking them. Um, that's when they're at their sweetest, right? Right before they're about to rot is when they're at their sweetest. So this is nicely incorporated. We use our nice Pit Boss cast iron skillet here and just put our strawberries right in. And then spread them out to make a nice even layer in the cast iron skillet. All right, so now let's make our granola topping. So I've already toasted off some oats, so I just took a, a dry skillet in my kitchen um, over about medium heat, put these in the pan, and just toasted them until they were warm to the touch. Um, so this is two cups, just old-fashioned oats. And we've got another fourth a cup of flour. A uh, third of a cup of brown sugar, tightly packed. And this is six tablespoons of butter. All right, so we're just gonna use the same spoon here, at least to the start. At the end, I wanna get in there with my hands because I wanna make sure that there's no 
brown sugar chunks, make sure everything is fully incorporated. But just to get this part of process started, we'll get started with our, our spoon here. All right, so now I will get in here with my hands, make sure all that brown sugar is broken up, make sure you're not feeling any big clumps. It's always good to get a little dirty when you're cooking, all right? Especially when you're cooking outside. All right, so that looks pretty good. We've got our homemade granola. So at this point, you could throw this on a sheet pan, throw it in the oven and make your own granola. Flavor it however you want. You could put some dried berries in there or whatever, really whatever your heart desires. So let's transfer this over on top of our strawberries. And spread it out on a nice thin layer here. All right, that looks pretty good. So we've got our Pit Boss Platinum Series Lockhart. We've got it set to 350 degrees. We're gonna throw this in the grill section. We're gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes or until the, the crunch on top, the crisp on top is starting to become nice golden brown, some crispy spots. So let's get this on. All right, so 350, I had the heat shield open just to heat it up. Um, I just closed it, 350, we're gonna cook this for 30 minutes. All right, so this thing's been cooking for about 30 minutes and it is done. So let's pull this guy off. <laughs> it is just boiling and bubbling. It's nice and super crisp on top. So we're gonna let this sit and rest. We want it to come to basically room temperature and let it kind of all those juices uh, solidify in there. Um, so this is gonna take about, I'm gonna say 30 minutes because we're gonna rush it because this is delicious and you're probably gonna start smelling it and your mouth's gonna start watering and it's gonna be hard for you to resist. So try to give it at least 30 minutes, but if you can give it up to an hour, that would be great. Um, that way you won't melt the ice cream so much when you put it on top as well. So we're gonna rest this for 30 minutes, top it up with some ice cream and dig in. Strawberry crisp done and rested, ice cream done and made into beautiful silky smooth ice cream this is smoked with vanilla we used about two tablespoons of vanilla in this because we really needed to equal the smoke flavor i tried it it is delicious it is going to go great with this strawberry crisp so let's go ahead and serve this guy up Big scoop here oh, yeah. that looks awesome Yeah, and then we will put our ice cream right on top of that. Get a nice big scoop of this ice cream. Try to make it as pretty as I can for you guys. All right, nice big canal there. Put that guy right on top. Oh yeah, that looks just amazing. All right, let's get into this. I'm excited, I love strawberries, especially summer strawberries. There's nothing really quite like them. Mm. It starts off like a normal vanilla ice cream. First off, the texture is just silky, silky smooth. It starts off like a normal ice cream, and then you start to taste the fire a little bit, and then you get the smoke, that, but it's all evened out with the vanilla and the sugar. Oh man, it's so good, and it goes so well with the, the strawberries. Like There's a little bit of sourness from the strawberries still, so the sweet, and sour, smoky. First off, thank you for tuning in. I hope you've learned something and I hope we've had a little bit of fun. As with all great things in life, Platinum Grilling must come to an end as well. So this was our last episode. As always, you can find every recipe we've done throughout Platinum Grilling this series uh, on pitbossgrills.com and on the Pit Boss Grills app. You can follow me at Chef Sean O'Neill on all social media platforms. Until we meet again, my friends, this has been Platinum Grilling.